Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, and thanks to you, uh, Director Ray, for your service uh, to our country. I want to thank uh, especially uh, the Bureau for the diligence with which uh, you have pursued those who attacked the Capitol and the Capitol Police and essentially attacked uh, our democratic uh, system of government on January 6th. We wish you well in those efforts. I have a, a couple of questions about the rule of law. We all believe in the rule of law, and we think that, and I know you do too, that the rule of law applies to the government as well. Leads me to a question about section 702 of the FISA uh, law. As uh, you know, there has been a review by the uh, uh, court uh, on the use of FISA, and as you, I'm sure, know in its latest review, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court found uh, widespread violations of the FBI's internal rules and the law's restrictions on how and when the government may use the information it collects under Section 702. For example, the court found, and I quote, um, uh, compliance in incidents suggesting that the FBI's uh, failure to properly apply its querying standard when searching 702 uh, acquired information was more pervasive than previously uh, believed. In one case, FBI personnel queried foreign intelligence databases for the names over one, of over 100 business, religious, civic, and community uh, leaders who'd applied to the FBI's Citizen Academy the court also found dozens of cases where agents had searched uh, warrantless foreign intelligence collections in the course of criminal investigations. Um, in summary, the court expressed concerns about, quote, the apparent widespread violations of safeguards on the use of warrantless collections. Um, in response to all of these uh, criticisms and concerns, the FBI uh, it seems to be basically said they had been working on changes, but that had uh, been suspended because of the uh, COVID pandemic uh, protocols. But here's my question, Director Ray. Section 702 was enacted in 2008. The FBI and other intelligence agencies have had more than a decade to implement what the law requires. And yes, it's 2021. And the FISA court is still finding, this isn't the first time, still finding widespread violations and failures uh, where the FBI uses basically the hook of foreign surveillance, but it's using it to avoid its warrant, re warrant requirements for domestic law enforcement. Why is this happening? Well, Congressman, I, I obviously want to make sure, and I'm fiercely committed to making sure that the FBI complies with FISA in all respects. Uh, the FISA court's concerns are certainly concerns that I take especially seriously as somebody who's a former prosecutor, former defense attorney, uh, former assistant attorney general in charge of the criminal division and now FBI director, our relationship with and our candor with and our transparency with and the confidence that we earn with the court is of utmost importance to me. Now, the the opinion that you are referring to from the court uh, does approve our procedures, uh, did not in fact find abuses or misconduct, and has to deal specifically with the querying, the running of searches in our databases. So we have taken, we have taken. He also found that you had used, the FBI had used data for internal domestic investigations. That's a violation of the purpose of 702. And, I'm, and again, I'm not going to speak to the specific instances in the report, because I think that would take longer than we have here, uh, among other things. But I would say that we have done a number of things to try to address the issues identified by the court. We have made uh, significant changes to the documentation requirements to assure accountability, oversight requirements, guidance and training enhancements, systems modifications, which may not sound glamorous, but is incredibly important because it helps yes. prevent uh, non-compliance. And then last but not least, something I particularly want to highlight, I created a new, a whole new department in the FBI, an Office of Internal Auditing, headed by a senior partner from a top, you know, a big four accounting firm 
who also had prior uh, in his life been an FBI agent uh, and is consulting with an, a premier outside uh, uh, world-class consulting firm to stand up an office of internal audit specifically focused on FISA to ensure that we have a world-class compliance program and world-class internal auditing program to Director make sure that we don't have these gentlemen, issues. The, the gentlelady's time has expired. If I may, Mr. Chairman, can we get the director to commit to have this individual brief the committee on those procedures? I, I'd be happy to see if we can get the, uh, the committee a briefing on, on what we're doing in this space. Thank you. The, uh, I, Mr. Thank you. Yield back. 